Okay, here we go. Uh, so, welcome to Morning Guts. It's been a little while. I haven't been drawing enough lately, so let me freaking get this stupid. Jesus. Um, sorry, I got this. Duh. So, um, let's see, I'll do a little quick run through of what I've um, been working on in my sketchbook lately. I've got this beautiful monitor stand, some, some Dell modern art here, and then we've got a foundry, wonderful foundries, and then the uh, new super came out and wasn't totally in love with it. I know, I mean, a lot of people are It's making opinions about this new Supra. But, uh, and then just random shit, some furniture stuff. And uh, more chairs. And also tractors because uh, we're, we're doing tractors in Blender class and I was trying to figure out the tread. Spent like a day just trying to figure out how to model this tread. <laughs> so I ended up doing a sketch of the tread too. And then some chairs. Some of these chairs are kind of cool actually. Look really futuristic. And more chairs. And a weird table. So yeah, I think I want to continue doing some chairs. It's good, nice, good, basic type of uh, shapes. So maybe we can get warmed up with that. So yeah. Um, mm -mm -mm. How are you guys doing, by the way? Have you been drawing lately? Have you been keeping it up? You know, I've been kind of slacking and it's not good. I can feel it. I shake off that rust. That crustiness. That horrible crustiness. That delicious crustiness. No, actually rust. Would probably not taste very good. Um, but this chair kind of looks like it probably tastes like ice cream I think probably tastes like ice cream so yeah I guess chairs are good for at least for some perspective practice maybe not quite as boring as a cube do have a red one. Let's see. Because we are on the TV now and we have color technology so I'm bringing this drawing to life with some Technicolor red here. Actually this is pretty bad. It doesn't make any sense. I'm I only have one color, so I'm going to have to fill it all in with the same color. It's going to look stupid. Actually, if I leave all the corners white, maybe it'll look like uh, like fake leather or something. Like some kind of shiny, gross material. I'll try that. Make it shiny. Make it shine. So just leave leaving the corners white. White. Those white corners. 
There, that looks like a shiny fake leather horrible chair. And uh, what else do we have? Ooh, this is an interesting drawing right here. Let's try that. Oh man, I can really smell the fumes here in my closet. It's very <clears throat> tight and closed. Not much ventilation here, so I'm getting I'm getting my money's worth from this marker here. Got a nice little wireframe going here. Turn the volume up. Blah blah blah. Whoa, that's too loud. Blah 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 blah. Sound is okay. I hope. Ah man, I'm shopping for a new chair too. Cause right now I'm using this really shitty. Uh, no offense, Michelle, but one of Michelle's uh, crappy um, convention chairs that she uses for sitting at conventions. And it's it's a taller chair, like for tables, which is nice because I got my desk at sort of like a standing height. But I need something that I can sit on. This thing, this thing feels like a torture device. And, uh, I don't know. I'm doing a lot of research. By the way, have has any of you guys ever used... Or what what is your favorite chair? Actually, hey Jesse, good morning. You probably have some opinions on ergonomic chairs. But what what is your... The most comfortable chair that you guys have ever used for work? Or do you have a... Like a... Because I was looking at... What do you call it? Saddle chairs, and um, and then these like standing chairs where you just lean back on them. And there's all these crazy looking chairs, and I still don't understand how chairs are cost like thousands of dollars. I don't think I'm at that level yet. Yeah, I definitely need a chair. The problem is, I'm a, uh, I'm a little bit short, so I feel like most office chairs don't really fit properly. Like I, I always feel like the bottom part of the chair is too long, and it's like cutting off circulation <laughs> to my legs. So I was looking at the saddle chairs because they, the way they're designed, they, your legs don't really. Your legs kind of just hang off the sides, like you're sitting on a saddle, on a horse or something. So it looks, in theory, it sounds good. I don't know how well it works in practice. The Hag Capisco chair, yeah. I was looking that one up. It looks really interesting. I've seen it. There's a couple of them um, in uh, Craigslist. Maybe. Let's see. Let's look at. Actually, let's draw the Hag. Because it's got an interesting design, too. Capisco. Or Hog. I don't know how you pronounce it. Look at this weird chair. You just hug it. It's like a emotional. It's. It looks like it's hugging you back. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, let me do a smaller version. Whoa. See what the hell is going on here? concept 
Varier balance. Oh, is it this this brand? Varier balance chair. Jeez. That looks dangerous. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. What is she doing? Is she like holding tea for some reason? Um all right, let me draw that. Let's draw the hag first. How do you pronounce the hog or hag? Capisco. Very interesting chair. I need more space here. Do you guys just, uh, for where you work or where you sit, do you use a regular office chair? Does anybody here use uh, something weird or like a, one of those yoga balls or something strange like that? Or is everybody pretty much uh, office chair? Or does anybody use like um, folding chairs or just like the shittiest chair possible for uh, drawing? That's been kind of my theory lately is just like, oh, just grab the crappiest chair because then it won't move around. Because I, for some reason, I don't like how office chairs like bounce around and jiggle and stuff. Because I feel like it sort of makes your drawing harder to control. Iron chair from Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, Jesse's working on his DIY focal upright locus. I'm going to look that up next. Focal upright locus. So these are really expensive. Whoa, Jesus. That is a $3,000 chair desk thing. So I, I can see why why you want to make your own version. That seems pretty steep for for that. This looks like a scooter with no wheels. Can't you just buy a regular scooter and take off the wheels and then you get two stars. I did. So this one is a pogo stick with a chair on top of it. In case that's what you're into, but I don't know, maybe these are good. Let's see what people say. Let's draw this one. It's kind of weird. I like it. It's, it's leaning forwards already. Looks like it's gonna fall over. Whoa. I'm gonna see if I can get my markers here. If I even have any markers left. Here we 
go. I got pencils too. Let's see if I can do something with these. Crap here. Uh, orange. Do I have orange? Yes, I do. Sharpies. What happened to I had like a million Sharpies the other day. And then oh, all right, now I have one one more Sharpie left, of course. Cause that's well, the rule of diminishing Sharpies. So what is the shadow doing here? Or the black. It's like coming around, doing like that, and then coming around again. Maybe like that. For Cylinders and pistons, I usually just to put two lines in. Just like that. It's pretty easy. And then maybe down here. What else do we have? Um, anything with an armrest? guy who makes keen shoes. Oh, wow. Steel case. Man, those those really expensive chairs, I've I've gone into the store and tried tried them out, but they never feel that comfortable to me. I don't know why. I think it's the price it makes them Just can't handle the price. Maybe I should just get a gaming chair. Does anyone here use a gaming chair? <laughs> or like a barber chair? Let's see. Because Amazon has barber chairs <laughs> that are like $100. Which I don't understand. Like how can you have... How can they ship you something that looks like a couch? for a hundred dollars like this thing what is this made out of like tissue paper how can that be a hundred fifty dollars is it gonna just like you're leaning back and then it just just cracks in half this thing is amazing but I don't think this will even like fit where I need to where I need it to go. It sort of looks like it belongs on a uh, like a a power sports boat or something. Something power sportsy. Oh man, I'm so rusty.
That's horrible. The one I'm looking at is called, let me see, saddle chair. But the problem with Amazon is like you can never know. Whoa. Maybe I should get one of these. Oh, wow. I saw a video, a video interview of Roald Dahl, or I think it was Roald, Roald Dahl, and he had one of these chairs with a, like, a piece of wood on top uh, over the arms, and then he just writes in his chair with his coffee and everything. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, these ones, I don't know. This this looks like, looks uncomfortable. This looks pretty odd too. Is that good? Actually, you know, I um, I used to sit in my grandma's wheelchair all the time because it was really comfortable. And my roommate in college also had a wheelchair like that he just used as a desk. It was pretty comfortable too. And he'd just like do wheelies all the time. Hey, what? Why is that eight hundred thirty dollars? Is it is it that much better? Let's see. Has anyone used a seat like this? Apparently, um they use it at salons and like tattoo parlors and stuff. For people that work and sit but artists work and sit as well I don't know why this I wonder if this would work well Michelle was saying it looks like a giant bicycle seat which it kind of does I have blue. Yes, I have blue. Oh, I forgot to leave the shiny part. Oh no. There. <sighs> wow, these fumes are intense here in the closet, guys. The most I, I wish I could open this window, but I think it's I think it's fused shut because the the guy who painted it, whenever whoever the the paint is really really thick, and the I can't see the window frame. It's like just fused onto the frame. So I don't know if I should try to open this this window in my closet. Which I don't know what they were thinking, putting a window in a closet and then fusing it shut but it's okay because it, it's actually it works nicely for us for lighting here so I guess I shouldn't complain but I'll, I'll just say that there's probably some questionable choices made on this apartment and, uh, and I like it actually I like it it's quirky there's at least there were some choices made here they were, they're on the frontier of closet window architecture. May not be their, this may not be their best work, but at least maybe this is like the prototype and the next one they did was better. But I'm glad to be um, part of the process here of design and exploration. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Trick is to act like you're a business and go to the distributor. 
That's cool. So that's why those chairs cost so much. This stores are charged. Well, I guess everything gets marked up like that. Hmm. Big Macintosh says, I have a question for 2.8. Did you remove or remove reset center option? Um, I don't think there ever was a reset center option on control space, but to reset center with Blender, here, I'll just, I just have Blender open at all times, guys. All you gotta do is pick your thing and go control, shift, right click. That resets the center. If you have something selected, control, shift, right click will go to that selection. Like for example, over control, shift, right click, puts the center there. And if you want to go back to zero, 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 you just de um, make sure no verts or no geometry is selected and then control shift right click and now you're back to center. I hope that helps. Oh wait, you couldn't see any of that because it was all uh, behind the screen here, so sorry about that. Um, the saddle chair is supposed to rotate your pelvis forward into your pelvic tilt and set your hip degree to something greater than 90 degrees. Yeah, that makes sense because when you when you're like bent over, kind of crunches your belly up. I wonder if they make saddle toilets where you're like kind of at an angle and you poop. I wonder if that's better. Possibly. Actually, no. They say that you're supposed to poop with your the pooping optimal pooping position is like. Like this, right? The optimal pooping position. The saddle chair position is tilted at an angle, so your legs go like that. But could you poop this way? I don't know. Yeah, the Squatty Potty, actually Michelle bought a Squatty Potty for me for Christmas, and, uh, you know, I, I tried using it for a little bit, but, you know, it just made me, um, it's very cold and sort of feels cheap. I'd rather just sit on the toilet, honestly, and not have it, because it, it, like, jiggles around and stuff. It's not, it doesn't feel secure. I want to feel nice and secure when I'm pooping. What is, oh, this is the hair washing station. Oh, could you do this, but with just like put the, you put your computer back here and then you put your VR on and then, then you have your squatty potty over here. Hmm. Big Mac Macintosh, reset the scale of an object. Oh, okay, you can do that. Um, reset scale is just control A in object mode, and then you say apply scale. That's it. Oops, what did I do? Oops, close that up. All right, I'm gonna try to design a chair here. Um, I'll design my own chair. So it's basically the same thing as this, except it's also got additional functions, like we were just brainstorming. So let's, these are for holding on to when things get really intense. Things get really, really intense. Okay, so your computer goes back here, your head goes in there, and then there's like a, a VR goggle contraption that gets held up with an arm. And then there's 
there's a bottom part here. So it has a cutout. And this is going to be a dual um, diversion method. So what that means is we want to keep the solids separate from the liquids. So all the liquid liquids will go into a funnel in the front portion of the receptacle and these will be kept in a jug a large jug that comes up here so you only have to refill it once a decade or I mean not refill it empty it once a decade and it's like here and this also has a spout unless you if you want to use the liquid waste for filtering or for your garden and then over here is the section that holds the um, this might actually have rails in it so that you can um, easily pull out this other section which is just simply a box but it's not just any box it has of course it has the um, the lid and the opening up top here but it's also composting so um, so that just means it's got a tumbler inside that mi mixes up the shit um, and I think the handle for the tumbler has to come out the side because we need to be able to tumble uh, while this container is inside the uh, machine, the rest of the contraption. So here's our swivel for the tumbler, and then the tumbler goes through here, and it has some shit paddles here. There's one shit paddle that goes that way, another shit paddle that way. Only two should suffice, and these are made out of nonstick Teflon, so that'll be good. I guess, how do you empty this though? Because there's bound to be some shit stuck on, leftover stuck on these paddles after, you know, two or three weeks. So maybe the whole thing has to, maybe the whole thing splits down the middle into a, a clamshell thing and it's like, uh, so it's like half and half. So again, here's the, oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Whew. I just had a breakthrough here, guys. Exactly. Pedals. Pedals. So, yeah. Burbank and I are on the same wavelength, wavelength here. So the, the shit pedal is connected to a, to a sprocket. Just connected to pedals. And you have your shit stirring system powered by your legs while you while you sh sit and on top of that okay so then this is the bottom half of the the shit vat and then over here it's the top half it's a clamshell design like this and then here's the top okay so here's the pedals here Here's the paddles that stir the shit. And then, uh, what else does it do? Oh, man. What else does it do? Hmm. Oh, my gosh. The pedaling. Okay, so the pedaling goes up front here. where the pedals go okay I grab grab her arm so you can collect parcels and food packs and sign deliveries hmm that's true okay. 
be uh, something like oh yeah so you can grab your drinks and stuff from the mini fridge so that would be attached to the side here probably So it'd have to be pretty long. Fully articulated. And, uh, it's probably like, how would it work? It would be some sort of a miniature version of that arm up here that you use I don't know so Who would make this? Herman Miller or Steelcase? I need to start pitching to these companies. And what would the price point be? It's a pretty complex design. Probably need some metal structure in here to keep everything solid. Um, you could easily see this in the two to three thousand dollar range. I mean, like this thing is three thousand dollars, and this doesn't do. This is, well, I guess it's a desk, too. Maybe we need the desk ad addition, too. Well, anyway. Next page. Let's see. What other chairs are there? Um, ergonomic chair. Ah. <sighs> Gaming chairs. Does anybody here use a gaming chair, and are they as horrible as they look? The end is near, guys. This is this this is signs of the end times. Oh, that one looks pretty. Okay, I think I think I've drawn this chair before. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Perfect for those um those uh, CS:GO sessions or StarCraft. Actually, I bet the gravity would kind of screw with your game a little bit.
This looks pretty comfortable. I would probably fall asleep though. Kind of a low energy guy. You know. I feel like if there was a movie about the drawing Olympics, um, you know, where the, the Jamaican drawing Olympics team, the first in, in the history of the Olympics, is training and they're using their whatever, they're using sitting on coconuts and stuff and then the, the bad guys will probably be be using something like this and the bad guys would have um, I don't know they would have like pencils that were d designed for NASA and then they, you can use them in, in outer space and they're probably yeah they're probably tra training on the on the uh, International Space Station they win it's the spoilers they they win the olympics because they have they have the rhythm they have the they have the heart and the skills the dedication the perseverance In these movies, do the bad guys ever, when they lose, do they ever cry? I feel like usually they're, they seem to be like angry and upset that they lost, but I don't usually see them cry. Do they? Because then you'd kind of feel bad for them. You know, like you invested all this money into this stupid looking chair and sp spent all your life doing this stuff and you really tried your hardest, spent all your trust fund money on it, and for what? Nothing. And everybody hates them now. And then their girlfriend leaves for the for the other team or whatever. Uh, you guys ever feel bad for the? Do you feel bad for the bad guys in movies? Does that mean you're a bad guy? Well, anyway, I don't really feel bad for this guy. He looks like he looks pretty comfortable. That looks pretty good. Oh, Jesus. Okay. What the hell? That better be a computer render. It's portal to hell right there. Looks more reasonable. It's a thinking chair. Well, and this is a hugging chair. It's a. Is he a doctor or is he just green? It's a straight jacket chair. It's a hmm. It's a a, a scooter, a skateboard scootering chair, for when you want to imagine doing tricks on this thing. 
<laughs> Imagine doing like a 1080 kickflip with this. That'd be so badass. While you're doing your homework. That's what you tell your parents when you when you want to get this new skateboard. It's like it's a home it's an educational skateboard, mom. You're gonna learn all, a lot of stuff while doing tricks. You bet you get what you want, I get what I want. Come on, it's only three thousand dollars from Steelcase. I want to see somebody do the, do a backflip with this thing in the X Games. That'll be that'll be awesome. Or like Red Bull, Travis Pastrana, or or maybe Ken Block can put like V8 on it. She's got to wear more protection though, like she needs some knee pads probably. I'll give her some elbow pads here just in case. And you want to protect that, that uh, important noggin of yours here. Let's see. Uh, can have a helmet, like a super helmet. People really like chairs, man. People really like a lot of things. A lot of weird things. day function I forgot about that hmm. okay maybe just one more and then uh, uh Where was that? Where'd it go? There you are. The roly poly small poly polyethylene chair, five hundred seventy dollars. Ooh. Oh, it's huge. I thought it was like for a baby. Whoa. Alright. It looks like an ice cream scoop. As an animal. Ice cream scoop grew legs. I think you could probably model this in five seconds.
Beautiful. Gotta go to the dentist today. I think I'm gonna ask them uh, what's the best kind of chair for dent. I feel like doctors and dentists should know. Actually, maybe not. Do they have good chairs? Technically, an artist sits down longer than a doctor or a dentist. Hmm. But artists are dumb, and they don't have special equipment. There's drafting chairs, but I don't, when I look up drafting chair, I think artists are too cheap. They're too broke for there to be special chairs for them. See, there's there's chairs for aestheticians, for spa people. The drafting stool just looks like a circle. stool nothing oh for sale this is pretty cool kind of expensive but it looks nice though I think this will be a good one. Okay, guys, um, thank you for joining in. That was fun. I'll try to uh, refine this design a little bit more next time. Got the Shitomatic 5000. And then, yeah, we had a lot of 
Interesting Amazon chairs and Pinterest chairs, and really expensive pogo stick chairs. And uh, these are from the other day. So mid century. I'm glad that mid century is the fad now because I kind of like mid century anyway. And then more mid century, more bullshit. I was saying in the early in the beginning of the stream, this is a new super came out. Nobody likes it. Well, I mean, some people like it, but a lot of people don't like it, me included. So I did another. This one's not that. This this looks more like a eclipse proportion, or it's a smaller. It's too chubby, maybe. Uh, foundry, and the Dell. I didn't know Dell made modern art, but they do. Look at that. It's, it's all. Okay, that's it guys, thank you for joining in, I'll see you another time, bye bye. Oh yeah, don't forget to dislike, unsubscribe, um, and report this channel to proper authorities, and have a horrible day.